imagine you wake up one day, you're not feeling well, you have a fever, you have aches and pain, what do you do? You might take a day off, visit your physician, or tell your friends and family that you're sick. This is what sociologists call assuming the sick role. The sick role, a term that was coined by the sociologist Talcott Parsons, described the social behaviors and expectations that come with being sick. Parsons argued that being sick is not just a physical condition, but it's also a social role with rights and obligations. So let's talk about that. So on the one hand, society expects you to seek competent help and try to get better. On the other hand, you are temporarily exempt from your normal duties, whether it be a job or family responsibilities, and you're not held responsible for your condition. But what happens when an illness lingers like in a chronic disease, or when an illness is invisible to others? This is where the sick role becomes complex, leading to stress, stigma, and social isolation. But here's the twist. Healthcare providers, society, and the surrounding culture can influence how you perceive your sick role and perform sick role responsibilities. This affects not just your individual health, but also public health practices and policies. So next time you're feeling unwell, just remember that being sick is more than what's happening inside your body. It's a dynamic process involving you, your health, and the world around you. Understanding the concept of sick role brings us one step closer to providing holistic healthcare, treating the person, not just the disease. Thanks for watching. My name is Amir Majid. I'm from The Methodologist. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until the next video, take care.